हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी स्टडीड प्लानिंग एंड इरिक्शन ऑफ पॉली हाउस एंड आल्सो स्टडीड कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ पॉली हाउस इन टुडेज लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट क्लाइमेट कंट्रोल इन ग्रीन हाउस वी नो फॉर ऑप्टिमम ग्रोथ एंड ऑप्टिमम ईल्ड देयर इज एसेंशियल टू कंट्रोल सम एनवायरमेंटल फैक्टर्स इनसाइड द पॉली हाउस control of greenhouse environment that means control of some environmental factors that is temperature light air composition and nature of root media if control of these parameters inside the poly house it help to maximize economic returns and conservation of energy that optimizes energy inputs there are different environmental factors the first we are discuss about temperature control there are different methods are used to control temperature inside the poly house in that first one is natural cooling second artificial cooling third roof shading next water film on the roof of the greenhouse and last one is the lap shading the first we are discuss about natural cooling in the greenhouse is providing proper air movement and air exchange is necessary for controlling the temperature and humidity inside the poly house so that on the overhead of the greenhouse the sufficient ventilation should be provided and this ventilators are kept in a such a way that the outer cool air is entered into the greenhouse and it spread uniformly inside the greenhouse and inner warm air is go away from the upper side if the greenhouse size bigger then there will be more temperature inside the poly house and in such green houses the height is kept more than 3.5 to 5 meters so it will help to remove the hot air easily through ventilators and help to reduce temperature inside the poly house we know the density of carbon dioxide is more in green houses than the outside and due to its high density it remain near the ground surface therefore the side ventilator should be 2 to 2.5 meters height or sometime it should be located just above the height of the crops these ventilators are to be operated by machine or by man and such type of ventilators it work efficiently in a summer season in summer season the side ventilators are kept open then it will help to reduce the temperature effectively but in rainy season the care should be taken that from the side ventilators water should not be entered into the greenhouses and for effective cooling the construction of greenhouse is to be done along the way of the wind that means direction of wind but in such cases due to high wind velocity area there is a possibility to damage the covering materials so to this ventilators should be kept fully open for easy passing of the inner air inside the poly house that means air exchange is necessary it help to control the temperature naturally inside the poly house then we are discuss about next method of temperature control that is artificial cooling in the places where air movement is very slow and in such situation 
removal of hot air from the greenhouse is not easy the rate of removal of air is depends on light intensity in the greenhouse if light intensity is high inside the greenhouse it help to increase heat inside the greenhouse and in such cases it require greater rate of air removal from greenhouse and similarly the natural cooling method is not effective and it will help to increase heat inside the polyhouse and if you want to control the temperature in the greenhouse in such case there is essential to reduce light intensity artificially inside the polyhouse and for artificially cooling generally the fan and pad type of system is used by using of the fan in every minute inside air will go outside and outside air will come inside through the cooling pad and in this method the exhaust fans are fitted one side of the greenhouse and cooling pads are kept on a opposite side of the polyhouse and by this method it help to reduce 5 degree celsius temperature inside the polyhouse as compared to the outside climatic conditions then we are discuss about next method of temperature control is roof shading roof shading means artificially coating of cladding materials the temperatures in the greenhouse can be reduced by using aluminum screen and there are various color combinations that means paste of colors are also used to control the temperatures inside the polyhouse and such type of paste mixtures are prepared by using different compositions we are taking here some examples of preparation of color composition or paste compositions the first example is 1 kg white lead or zinc or titanium paint paste plus 1 kg white color plus 4 to 5 teaspoon of sesame oil the role of sesame oil is to reduce the fire of cladding materials plus 8 liter gasoline or painted naphtha these are the one examples for the preparation of paste compositions then we are discuss about second example that is 2.25 kg white lead paste plus 4 teaspoon of sesame oil plus 7.5 liters of gasoline or painted naphtha these are the different compositions are used to preparation of paste coating and out of this mixtures that means these two examples of compositions the second number is generally used for growing of orchids and other cut flowers in the greenhouses and this mixture compositions remain for longer time in this compositions white color from the mixtures it reflects 40 to 60% more than the green or blue color of the sun rays so it will help to reduce light intensity inside the polyhouse and due to reduction of light in intensity into the polyhouse ultimately it help to reduce the temperature inside the polyhouse then we are discuss about water flame on a greenhouse glass that means we have to maintain water flow over the cladding materials it help to control temperatures of polyhouse and for controlling the temperatures of polyhouse in this method 1 cm thick water flow on upper surface of the greenhouse is maintained to reduce the damage caused by infrared light rays to the plants 
and generally in slanting greenhouses the water flow is maintained up to 0.05 cm thick and this water flow should be kept in a circulating manner and similarly the care should be taken that the circulating water should be cold one otherwise it will cause adverse effect and to provide cool water in a circulating manner and for cooling of water the refrigeration system or refrigeration arrangement should be there and if possible to add carbon black and solute wrap green color in the circulating water so there will be more beneficial effect to control the temperatures inside the poly house then we are discuss about next method that is lath sheds lath sheds means covering of cladding materials generally lath sheds are prepared from wood aluminum or curtain materials these materials are more elastic than shading paste mixtures but comparatively costlier as compared to shading paste for reducing the light intensity lath shading is better than the shading mixtures because it reduces intensity of light as well as temperatures and in some poly house instead of lath sheds they are using cloth curtains and due to and due to using of such curtains the heat can be reduced for certain period effectively and similarly it will also help to reduce leaf temperatures of plant up to 6 degree celsius and if you think about these methods are less costlier easy and convenient as compared to other methods then we are discuss about next method of temperature control that is evaporative cooling in this method greenhouse can be cooled by evaporating the water and this method is very effective where the humidity is low and air is dry generally in summer season humidity always low and temperature is high and in this system the greenhouse can be cooled by using the exhaust fan or overhead ventilations there are different evaporative cooling methods are used to control temperatures of poly house the first is fan and pad evaporative cooling second high pressure mist and third low pressure mist the first we are discuss about fan and pad evaporative cooling methods the fan and pad evaporative cooling methods generally used during the summer seasons and in this method warm air is expelled through exhaust fan and these are placed one all and outer air is entering through wet pads these are the located on a opposite wall the entering air is cooled by the evaporative of the water in the pad and by this method temperature of the greenhouse can be reduced up to 3 to 12 degree celsius and if the humidity is increased in the greenhouses then it can be reduced by using the humidistat set that means in this method the exhaust fans are located at a one all and wet pads are located at a opposite all the outer air is entered through wet pads and on wet pads continuously water flame is flowing and when this outer air is entered through wet pads and when it come into the contact of this pad the hot air will get cool and help to reduce the temperature inside the poly house and by this method it help to reduce the temperature up to 3 to 12 degree celsius 
then we have discuss about second method high pressure mist in this system high pressure preparing apparatus generate mist water droplets and these fine droplets are sufficiently small and they are stay suspended in the air while they are evaporating the mist droplets they are dispersed through out of the greenhouse and they are cooling through the air very well and this cooling system reduces the greenhouse temperature up to 14 degree celsius and then we have discuss about last method low pressure mist in this system low pressure mist that means the size of droplets is 7 kg per centimeter and these are used to reduce the temperature inside the greenhouse the droplets in this mist are bigger in size as compared to high pressure mist and therefore they are not evaporated well in the air and remain on the leaves so that this method is not used commercially to reduce the temperature inside the polyhouse so today we have stop here the next part of this topic we'll discuss in a next lecture